that's one aspect. Number two is a lot of time, a lot of people, should I say, conniving people, they're sneaky, crawling around like snakes. So that's just a small analogy. Um, but yet still, when you go to Genesis chapter, this is the blessing that everybody don't realize. This is the reason why Esau hates. This is the reason why Esau hates uh, Jacob. We are Jacob. We are Israel. We are the ones who had the blessing in Genesis chapter 27. And when you get to 27 down, I ain't going to read the whole thing for you. get time to check it out. Um, when you get down 20, uh, 20 to the... The 20, I think the 29th, yeah. The 28th and 29th verse of Genesis 27. This was the blessing, the blessing that was given unto Jacob. This was the blessing because he's supposed to get it in the first place according to uh, when both of them came out the womb or before they came out the womb, um, when Rebecca went and inquired of the father, the father told her, Two nations should be uh, separate from thy womb, and two manner of people. And the elder shall serve the younger. But this is, I'm going to give you the key of what has just happened. Within the last 2,000 years, within the third day where we are now, and what's coming to pass. I'm going to give you the last 2,000 years, then the third day. After me and Joanne, uh, after Joanne come up and share more information of what's in the paperwork, then I'll come back and give you the other half. So right now I'm going to give you Genesis chapter 27, verse 28 and 29. I'll start at 27. Well, I start at 26. Well, Isaac told, he told Jacob, thinking it was Esau, to come and smell. He wanted to smell him to make sure it was him because he's about to, this blessing, this blessing was from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob that was supposed to happen, but the first son was supposed to get the uh, the birthright or the blessing. This is why but Isaac was blind. So this is something, maybe if you do your research or check it out, you'll, you'll see this. But from verse 26 it says, And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. 27. And he came near and kissed him and smelled the, and smelled the smell of his raiment. And blessed him and said, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. Verse 28. Therefore, the Father, God give thee of the, give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Verse 29. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son, which is Jacob, because Rebekah loved Jacob, Isaac loved Esau. Let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an end, this is verse 30, made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his honey. Now, that was the blessing that Jacob was supposed to get, because it was said before they came out the womb that the elders should serve the young. Now, that being said, this is where we are coming into power now. The reason why we're coming into power now is because of the blessing that was given. But Isaac, thinking that he was giving it to Esau, this is what was said in verse 40, 39 and 40. But before I go there, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you 36. I'm going to give you 36 of, uh, of chapter 27. I'm going to start here, and this is Esau's blessing coming. I'm going to explain that to you, why they was in power the last 2,000 years, and maybe a little before then, but mainly the last 2,000 years, 
and while we've been in servitude all this time. Genesis chapter 26. And 34, I'm starting 34. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, my father. 35. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety and hath taken away thy blessing. That what Isaac said to him. And, and he said, and this is what Esau said. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, which he sold his birthright for a bowl of beans, red lentils. He sold it. You have to go back and read it for yourself. And he said, it's not his name, right name, Jacob, for he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he has taken away my blessing. And he said, has thou not res uh, reserved a blessing for me? Now what I, uh, Esau said to Isaac in 30, verse 37. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also. Oh, my father. He was crying for he was crying to him. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept with a bitter cry. Because he knew Jacob took the blessing that was given to them that was supposed to happen, that's going on, or get ready to happen now with us in this day and time. Verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Now, that's the same blessing he gave to Jacob. But realize, he gave this to Esau for what's coming up next. Verse 40. And by thy sword, by thy sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother. And, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion. The dominion of what? The earth. Third and fourth generation. The Greeks and the Roman Empire took over the earth. This is the seed of Jacob. I'm sorry, the seed of Esau. Make sure. One moment. Let me pause that. Come back. Just sharing with you at back at um, back at verse forty, and thy brother say, uh, and thy and by thy sword shall thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, as I was saying a few moments ago, the dominion over the earth. When thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. You know what a yoke is. A yoke is actually one of those things they have around your neck, especially they how they used to do our ancestors, have a yoke and have them, them uh, steel bars off of them, they run through bushes and stuff, you know, hey, they get caught. A yoke is a, is a yoke of bondage, meaning that Esau was in bondage at one point in time. And then when thou broke the yoke off thy neck and has gained the dominion, say, uh, uh, 441, and Esau hated Jacob because of his blessing, wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. See, that hatred has been going on ever since that time. This is the reason why the quote-unquote, as you call him, white man, which is really the black man, really hate us, is because of this right here. They know it. They won't tell you. But many of them has confessed it to many of us and has told, they ain't said it right out, but they said the reason why. A lot of them think that we steal, but we're not thieves. That's not in our culture. That's not in, we have adapted that from them, but that's not in our culture. That's not in our nature. The reason why they feel a certain way is because they feel that we steal because 
what was sold to us and what we have gotten through our mother, Rebecca, to come and, and supplant, or shall I say, to come and, and, uh, and take the blessing that was supposed to be for us anyway, it was prophesized. So that was meant for us. So this right here is the key that a lot of people don't realize in this day and time. This is prophecy. No different than the prophecy in Genesis chapter 15 when the father told Abraham, no for a surety that thy seed will sojourn in a land and a strange land that's not theirs for 400 years and be in bondage 400 years. Yes. This is what I'm sharing with you. The 400 years just ended last August. From August 16, 19, to August 2019 with the 400 years. Now, then he said, and after that, I would judge that nation. That nation being the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire over the earth. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was pretty good. The Roman Empire over the earth. By being the Roman Empire over the earth, the Greeks started, remember, it was four world powers, four world generations. Babylon, the Medes and the Persians, the Greek and the Roman Empire. The Greek and the Roman Empire is the third and fourth world generations, world powers that has taken over the earth. And if you look in the second commandment in Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 through 6, it says, Thou shalt not worship anything in heaven above, earth beneath, or waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities upon the fathers, upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. But showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. That love me and keep my commandments. That love me and keep my commandments. The Father's commandments has been here since day one, when he separated. A lot of people think that my aunt was here first. The commandments was here since day one. That's when he first separated the law from darkness. Light from darkness, the law from evil and wickedness. That was here first. Then my aunt came later on, as well as my uh, Hammurabi code and everything else. The Father said that he's going he's to establish his covenant through Abraham's seed, which he did in the wilderness in Exodus. I'm giving you tidbits to check out for yourself. Exodus chapter 24, verse 8. He anointed, and it's the anointing is the act of anointing, if you knew it or not. The act of anointing when he anointed Israel with the blood of an ox in Exodus 24, verse 8. Check the information out. When he did that, the Father's words stand forever. When he stood with Israel then, that was the blood sacrifice, the blood anointing at that time. The enemy studied the book, gave you something else. This is the reason why you believe in Jesus, which is still the straw man to Yahshua. The straw man is a fictitious story or a fictitious person, or might as well say person because the person is a monster. It's not really a, a real a flesh and blood being. Do your research. Get your Black Star Dictionary and check out the information. But, got to understand words. Got to understand information. I'm sharing it with you, but it's up to you to do your due diligence, your research to find out what I'm saying is right, wrong, true, or false. Same with anointing. But, i get with the anointing in a few moments. Um, just sharing with you, back to the story. This is the reason why the third and fourth generation hate us. The Caucasians can't stand us. The reason why is because we have the blessing. Today is the awakening. Today is what's happening. This is what's going on right now. We are waking up all over the world. And as I said, if you don't be according to the Creator's word, the Creator's laws, you won't be here. Jeremiah 31, verse 33 and 34 is the key. But the lead up, precept upon precept, the key is 31, verse 31 through 37 in Jeremiah. But I'm going to leave it at that right now. Um, I just wanted to bring it up to par so y'all can understand where we're at in this day and time according to prophecy 
Genesis chapter 15, when the Father speaks, his law. Anything that, the, when the Father speaks, when you, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. That's where we're at today. So it's up to you to accept it or reject it. So uh, this is the third week over here at J. Bellas. We're looking for y'all to come down. We open here every Monday from 7 to 9. And for this facility to be open, we are, uh, just to come in, it's, five, it's a $5 fee just to come in. But the classes and indexing is free. We just want you to know that. Indexing is free. The class here that we're giving is free. That's why we're giving it to you just like this. And uh, just to come in, to pay for the facility, it's a five dollar cover charge. Not much to come and get the information, to get the indexing, to come in to get everything happening uh, for it to happen. But indexing itself is free. Otherwise, I'll come back with you with the other half of what I'm just sharing with you right now. Uh, after my sister Joanne gives some information on what's in. Your package in from index. You ready, baby? Thank you. Let me uh pause this. You ready, baby? Okay. Put this back on. Give me some trouble. Go. You ready? Yes. All right. Now we're ready to come back. Joanne's going to give her portion on the information inside of the packages from Index. Okay. I'm going to start with Genesis 15. Genesis 15. So this is what your your paperwork look like when when you uh, when you get your indexing paper papers. This is what it looks like. Okay, so the the paperwork basically states uh, that they've given notice to all the agents uh, of corporation, which is known as well now known as the United States of America. Um, so I'm just going to read what's on the uh, the uh, contract, I want to say. It says, uh, my authority of my office to redeem the family of man. And notice he says man, uh, because that's not what, what our, our status is right now. But from the family of man and via and non well, war powers. Referendum authority as certified and House Joint Resolution 85-2013. Um, you can Google that to find out what that is because that is a um, that is something that's that's real. So we we know that that's real. The contract control number that's what you'll have. You'll have your your number just like you got a number for everything else. Um, then it says definition. Joanne of the family Abbott for the Joan Abbott estate from here and after as bearer, beneficiary, and sovereign principal. That means that all three of those things you are. Not, um, you know, John Smith going to be the, 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 uh, the sovereign, the, the person that's over this, and then you've got this other person, and then it's you. You are all three entities. So you are the bearer. You are the beneficiary, and you are the sovereign principal. And in the in, in the five hundred one three C system, you're not you're not all three. You're just the the um, not even sovereign principal. You're probably just a beneficiary you're, or the bearer, one of the two. But you're not all three. So um, it says to all United States and state agents and officers of all instrumentalities and political subdivisions contractors, etc., under the jurisdiction of the Roman Curia International Law, which is what we're under now. All of them have been put on notice. Um, there is a, another part that they, uh, 
that uh, you are not to be touched in any form when I, I mean physical, you're not to be touched at all. Because they, even physical can have them in trouble. Um, there's a, um, what's that? Okay, six. Six. Okay. Yes, six. Okay, so um, it says, as a world court bearer should be treated with utmost respect and all steps should be taken to prevent attack on the bearer's freedom, mobility, interests, and property. Um, you are hereby directed to immediately cease and desist any and all efforts to tax, extort, detain, search, arrest, prosecute, jail, collect from, disclose on, evict, etc., intended to raid this beneficiary's account. All statutory judgments are null and void regarding bearer and his estate and all deriv derivatives thereof. This is non pro I don't, I'm not good at all. Okay. Okay, so the affirmation is uh, from Dr. Henderson, is uh, I, Dr. Hindu, I owe Henderson, give all honor, praise, glory, and power to my Savior, Yahweh. I am seed of Abraham, direct descent of the house of Israel, the tribe of Judah, a Hebrew Israelite Jew, and possess Jew, possessing my absolute right. You're right there. <coughs> Something always bothers me. Um, can you finish that? <laughs> I brought something to drink, but I left it out of the car. Okay, you go out the car and get it. Yeah. Uh, affirmation? Am I right, sweets? Yeah. Okay. The affirmation is, I, Dr. Hindu I.L. Henderson, give all honor, praise, glory, and power to my Savior, Yahweh. I am seed of Abraham, I guess she just read that, direct descendant of the house of Israel, the, uh, the tribe of Judah, a Hebrews like Jew possessing my absolute right to, to, uh, to chain of absolute title by nature of su uh, superior claim and legal possession, divine dominion over the earth and the fullness, and the fullness thereof. Wherever I stand is holy ground. See Genesis 1, 16, Leviticus 25, 23 through 28, Ruth 4, verse 1, Jeremiah 32, verse 6 through 12, and 5, I guess Jeremiah 5, 5. Um, this is information saying that anywhere we stand, we stand as being a sovereign principle is holy ground that's anywhere on this earth. Why? Because we are sons and daughters of the Almighty. Now, let's see. Did you want me to go anywhere? You want me to go anywhere here, uh, baby, or you want me to just go on to another different area? What's the next page? Okay. Did you want to do that, Dr. I.L. Henderson, on this uh, notice to the family of man? Yeah, that's right. You want me to read that? Okay. Uh, it says, into the family of man, the tribe of Judah, house of Israel. I, Dr. Hindu I.L. Henderson, declare, assert, and affirm that he has been adopted into the Bathsheba and Esther Trust. He being us, or we, I believe. The election, the election by, by his blood, he has been, yes, it's us. He has been recorded into the Lamb's Book of Life, pursuant to 97th Congress House Joint Resolution, House Joint Resolution 165, 96 sec, uh, like six State or Statutory uh, 1211, Public Law 997 280, October 4th, 1982, resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America and Congress assembled that the president is authorized and requested to de designate 1983 as a national 
year of the Bible in uh, in, recon in recognition of both the form uh, formative influence the Bible is being for our nation and our national need to study and apply the teachings of the Holy Scriptures approved and uh, codified into American law October 4th, 1982. One U.S. Congress and, and Administrative News 82-2996 stat, Statutes 1, I mean 1211 Pursuant to, okay, these are different uh, scriptures. Just going to put that right there. Maybe y'all can see the scriptures. So you can see for yourself. I want to read them all. Y'all can check that out for yourself. Remedy. Will we read the remedy, please? Not the remedy. So the, what, what, what are the statutes and codes for, for those things that took place um, in order for indexing and in for us to gain our sovereignty? Those things took place in court rooms. Make sure they can hear you. Mm -hmm. Make sure. To be indexed into a new system so that we, when, it, when it's our time to put the, the, the 501c4 in action, as the 501c3 goes down, the 501c4 already rises into 